Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you how to make a really simple kid's toy. It's the simplest thing in the world, but it's really fascinating. And I can remember having these when I was a kid, which is going back to the Dark Ages, but there you go. And they're quite simply card spinners. And they operate by you spinning them around like this. And then if you pull the threads apart, they spin round and loosen it to let it go up, pull it apart and they spin in the other way. And these are simple round ones where all the colours blur into one. Or what you can do, and uh, this is the one that I'll probably make, or I'll tell you how to make, is if you leave little pointed parts on it, Oh. and you spin it together without getting the pointed parts caught up. When you pull them apart, you should be able to hear I hope you can hear that. And I don't know whether it's just me, but they fascinate me. So, very easy to get started. What you will need is some sort of, what's that, one millimetre wide chipboard. And I've cut these into circles that are 11 centimetres in diameter. You can do that with a compass and pencil. Just find, draw yourself a five and a half centimetre radius circle. So you've got a centre point. And then from that centre point, just draw one line across. And uh, if you have a cutting mat, this really helps because you can use your grid marks to make, your next, make sure your next line down is at 90 degrees. Or you could grab your child's school geometry set and do it that way. And then turn it so that you can then put the 45 degree angles in. So you want to divide your circle into equal eighths. Like so. And then to decorate, grab yourself some glue. And I've cut some squares of paper that are six centimeters in diameter. Six centimeters in diameter on a square, six centimeters square. Draw a line from corner to opposite corner and just cut them in half with a pair of scissors. And then glue one section of your spinner and pop it in place. And then with the other half of that same paper, Put it on the opposite section. And then just fill up these areas with coloured and patterned papers. So you pop them all in there to fill up your circle. And if you want to make one that you can hear the wind blowing through it, you would just repeat that on the other side and put triangles going in the opposite direction so that they all line up. If you want to make a plain round one, you will simply, when that glue dries, take a pair of scissors and just cut around the outside, flip it over and do the back, like this one here. And then to thread the string through, this is something that you will probably need to help do. Take a, a darning needle or a pointed tool and just pierce a hole five millimetres away from the centre on each side. And then one of the most ridiculous things about this is the length of string does make a difference to how well your spinner works. And I've found, oh, I've got a knot in that piece of string already, I found that about 40 centimetres is the optimum length to make it spin properly. If it's too short, it will tighten up on your fingers too much and you, it will be too painful. 
And if it's too long, it's just impossible to get the thing spinning in the first place. So I'm just going to cut that at 41. Use a darning needle to thread it through the hole, actually, to make life easier on yourself. But, you know me, don't like to make anything easy. Don't be tempted to use a hole punch to make these holes because you, you don't want them too big. Your thread needs to fit in there relatively snugly. There you go. And then just tie the ends together in a simple overhand knot. Push it up to the end there. And then all being well, you can pop one finger in each loop, hang it so that your spinner is in the middle, and then just operate one hand to get it spinning. Keep this, this one still and wind it with that one to make it spin. And if you want to stop it spinning in one direction, pull it tight and then let it loosen up so it can keep its momentum going to wind itself up on the other side. Very easy to do and it, as I say, it's just such a simple toy that it's just fascinating. I mean, they, you know, fidget spinners and stuff like that have, ooh, have been around for ages. This is another thing. It's just a, something you can just let yourself relax and watch it spin and hear it spin. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you'll come and see us again very, very soon. Hope you enjoy making things for yourself, with your children, with other people. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Thank you. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.